Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. So I am here with my beautiful Brooke and we're going to do Toddler Tuesday. I don't know that I've ever done it before. I don't remember. Um, but I thought I would come on and I just got done changing Brooke and I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll do a short little video and we'll chat and I'll show you guys how she, you know, what she's dressed in. I'm slowly trying to get the babies changed into summer stuff. Um, so I thought I would, you know, show you what Brooke, can I move your little mermaid here? So she's all dressed in rainbow for pride month. It's pride month this month. And let's see if I can move you guys down just a little. So she's got on her cute little tie-dye dress. It's got the rainbow colors. Her little rainbow sandals. And she's got her hair pulled back in a ponytail with the yellow um, ponytail holder to go with the yellow in her dress. And she's got, usually give this to the babies, but this little rainbow cloud. Yay! <laughs> And then of course, always her mermaid. She loves this mermaid. It's got the, you can do the different, it's got the sequins that move and whatever. But she always has her mermaid. And I thought, well, just come on and you guys can see Brooke and we would just chat for a minute. So I have been busy, busy, busy. Um, so my porch, I discovered my porch had black mold on it. Um, I didn't really know what it was when it was happening, <laughs> but uh, it just kept getting worse. And I'm like, what is that? What is that? So when I moved in here, um, they had to redo the porch. The porch steps were not suitable for me. Um, so, and they were really steep. So they rebuilt the porch and I asked them about like staining and, and protecting it and whatever. And they said, oh, it's already been treated. The wood's already pre-treated, so you won't have to do anything with it. I'm like, ever? And they're like, no, 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 you won't have to do anything. And I'm like, okay, like I really didn't want it just wood colored, but you know, and so I kept kind of saying something to them. I'm like, you know, I'd really like to have this, this porch stained. It looks, it, you know, like they left some of the original structure, but they just did some other, like they redid the stairs and, and redid the railings, but they left the main structure. So the wood was different colors. And I just kept asking and asking and asking the landlord to, you know, put some stain on it or, and protect it or something. And anyway, through the years, it's just kept getting worse. And I don't know nothing about this stuff. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, so needless to say, the black stuff kept getting worse. Um, I looked into it and it was, they, you know, I found out it was black mold and started looking into how I treat it. Um, because obviously, you know, the landlord's not going to do it. So, um, I looked at people doing certain cleaners and this and that, and basically, um, those type of cleaners that you use for situations like this basically are bleach. And I saw the video where this guy was taking this one cleaner and bleach and he did two, like a porch, just like mine. And it, yeah, <laughs> basically it was the same thing. So I got a pump sprayer, um, and I sprayed the porch down with bleach and, uh, well, like watered down bleach. Um, and it, it came off <laughs> after I power washed it. Um, I power washed it first, I put the, put the bleach on and then power washed it again and it, it literally came off. Um, so that's good. But because of the years, it's, and they, they didn't, they didn't sand this porch. Literally they did nothing. So it's just, it's all warped and it's this and that. So now I've got to sand it. Um, I had to purchase a sander. <laughs> um, so that came yesterday. Um, so now I have to sand the porch. It just with what I did, um, I'm still trying to recover from it because it hurt my body so bad. I actually, several months ago, um, started paying a friend to help me do some stuff around, 
my house that um, like on the outside and stuff that I it's hard for me to do because of all my body limitations and she this was one big thing that I needed her to do because I knew it was going to hurt me I can't stand for long periods of time I can't sit for long periods of time I can't lay for long periods of time but just standing there power washing um, I knew it was going to hurt me a lot and she did like a small part of the porch and never came back so, <laughs> um, I got tired of waiting and I was just like, you know what? It's finally nice outside. I'm just going to do it. And so I started doing it. I'm still trying to recover from it, but, um, I got it done. Took me two days, but I got everything done. So now I can start doing the sanding. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do a stain and seal and then I'm done with it. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been working on that, um, little by little. Um, my mom came over one day and she was doing some other stuff in my yard to help me out. Um, but so yeah, but so now that's what I'm going to be doing is cause that's going to be hard on my body too, is the sanding. So it's going to take me a little bit to get that done, but you know, so anyway, so that's a project I've been working on and I'll be working on. As far as here in the nursery, there's going to be some changes. Um, my grandmother, cross your fingers, <laughs> has agreed again to go into an assisted living. Um, she's 86 years old, 87 years old. Um, she really doesn't need to be in a home by herself. Um, she's agreed a couple times and then backed out of it. We're really hoping that she's going to do it this time. But the reason I say that is because she has a dollhouse that my great grandfather made that I'll, I might end up getting early. Originally it was just going to be when she passed away, but because she's going into an assisted living, it's a smaller area. I may end up with the dollhouse earlier. I don't really want to leave it like excuse me um like out in the living room or anything i don't really have the room i don't really want the cats to be able to access it Allie comes in here but i'm not worried about her she doesn't come in here all the time um but i'm not too worried about her so it's gonna have to come in here <laughs> so um i was already wanting to really do some a big purge in here I think that is purge the right word I don't know I was but I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to get rid of more stuff than I was anticipating um, I'm basically gonna have to get rid of my dresser everything in my dresser everything on top of the dresser I'm gonna have to really reorganize everything in here all over again um, because the dollhouse is huge it's huge um, if you look down in my videos, um, there'll be a video titled My Grandma's Doll Room. I think there's two videos and one's an update. Um, you'll see the dollhouse in that video. It's huge. Um, but my grandfather made the whole thing by hand. Um, and I'd like for it to stay in the family. Nobody really wants it at this point. Um, I think maybe when my cousin's kids are older, they might want it. Um, but I really think it should stay in the family. So I've told them that I, I'll take it now. Um, so <laughs> and we ended up with a really big dollhouse. Um, she never really did anything with it. I think he put electricity in it. I don't know if he didn't finish setting it up or something happened to it, but she basically bought like furniture and, and dolls and stuff for it. She just never set it up. She literally just put it in there. Um, I don't think it's been painted, if, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, I don't think really a whole lot was done. He just sort of made it for her and then she just sort of set it. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna finish it for her, um, but you know, I'll take video and stuff for her and, and things like that, but I've got to have a place to put this. I'm really hoping she'll give me the table it's on too because it swivels. It's really a big, it's this big, huge table. It's got shelves on the sides, um, but I believe the top moves so you can move the dollhouse around. Um, 
so I need a big space. If I was just to bring it in here right now, there's like no way. <laughs> I, I There would be hardly anywhere to move. I wouldn't be able to get the dresser open. Um, I have a very small, small nursery. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's another project I'm gonna be working on. I already kind of started it anyway, but now it's going to be even more extreme than what I was anticipating. So, um, yeah, so those are the projects I'm going to be working on and changing all the babies into summer stuff. So those are the three things, um, I'm working on right now. Um, if you guys have, uh, some suggestions on like how to organize a nursery a little bit better. Um, maybe some different prod, like like products I can use for baby shoes. Um, I wanna access my wall space a little bit more. Um, I thought about getting shelves. I, I do have my closet here. That's currently how I have it set up, um, but any ideas or videos you guys can send my way, I would appreciate it. I'm going to watch some like real baby nursery um, videos to get some more organizing ideas um, to utilize the space the best I can um, and not have to get rid of everything. <laughs> I have a huge pacifier collection um, that I'm now not sure what to do with. <laughs> because <laughs> it's so extreme. Um, I did think about um, some of them like doing strips of metal um, or like cookie sheets and putting the magnet ones on there and putting it on the wall. It, it's just the collection is so big. Um, I, I'm just not real sure <laughs> what to do with it. I do need to get some shelving though because some of my baby item, my items are in here on a shelf of my dresser, my great aunts. Um, so I do need to get some shelves um, that hang on the wall. But yeah, any ideas, any organizational videos you guys can point me to, I would really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be hard at work at that because um, I they're actually going on Friday to look at a place that my grandma's thinking about moving to. So it may be something that's in the next month or two, if not sooner. Um, so yeah, I, I, it really is something I'm going to have to do alongside of my porch. <laughs> anyway, so just thought I'd update you guys and say hello, show you beautiful Brooke. And um, we'll talk to you guys very soon. Goodbye.